So I learned how to tap dance through improv. Uh, my grandmother taught me the basics of tap dancing. And then I've always improved, and it's been something that I just love to do. I like the noise um, from when I was little. I started dancing when I was four. And uh, I think that improv was something that I was able to understand because I remember the audience laughing or connecting with me in some type of way. Uh, not until I was, I want to say, hmm, 19, 18 or so, when I started to realize uh, that choreography was really powerful for me because uh, I went to school for filmmaking. And filmmaking was all about stories, you know, building a story from first act, second act, third act. And when I understood stories and I understood uh, writing and I understood dramatic, uh, you know, the climax of something happening, I got really into the choreography aspect of things because it was a challenge. It was something different, and I felt like it was it, it was it's hard. It's hard to really get the audience to understand what you're trying to say through movement or through sound. Improvisation is like very much a big part of my life. Period. So, um, but within that, I like shape and I like coming in and out of moments to be able to be creative. Personally, I never really like having something set choreographically 100%. I feel very restricted and limited. Um, and then also I find myself kind of swimming into a deep ocean if everything is just 100% improv off the hip. Um, some people are, are fantastic at that. I have done that a few times, but I find myself loving to come in and out. <laughs> <laughs> 